A live look at the White House this evening, where the Biden administration is sending more military aid to Ukraine. It's an $800 million aid package and includes artillery and armored personnel carriers. This comes ahead of an anticipated Russian attack on the eastern part of Ukraine. We tailored this list specifically to meet the needs that they have asked for with respect to what's going on in eastern Ukraine. Ukrainian officials say the city of Mariupol and the Donbass region are now Russia's primary focus since it failed to take Kyiv. And for the first time, President Biden is referring to Russia's atrocities in Ukraine as genocide specifically. But he also alluded to the international legal process that would make the formal determination. We are engaged in a process at this very moment uh, to work with partners around the world, but in the first instance, our Ukrainian partners, uh, to help them collect, to preserve, to document, and to share evidence of atrocities, potential war crimes, and yes, if that threshold, that legal threshold is reached, uh, genocide. The Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe released its own report. It found evidence Russia committed war crimes in Ukraine, including directly targeting civilians and medical facilities.